This is a magical moment for Nadja Swarovski and for her entire family. It's 120 years since Daniel Swarovski, at the age 29, left Bohemia and his small village to show people the machine he'd created to make crystals, not by hand, but by machine. Swarovski has created so many life-changing things, from binoculars to car mirrors to cat's eye road signs. But we in the fashion world think of that sparkling jewellery, jewellery that we've seen on fashion dresses, that we've seen in film, and we've seen in so many other imaginative ways. Nadja Swarovski is behind so much of that, and I'm going to talk to her about the heritage and the actuality of Swarovski today. Nadja Swarovski, what a moment for you and your family. A very happy birthday of 120 years. How do you all feel about this celebration? You know, it is such a wonderful moment of pride to be able to look back at 120 brilliant years of what my forefathers have achieved, what they've done, what they've actually contributed to the world, in particular to the fashion industry and the jewelry industry and the creative industry in general. For all your heritage at Swarovski, you seem to be a company that wants to look forward, not back. And I know you yourself have searched out for young designers who can look at crystal in a different way, whether it's a modern chandelier or something I've never thought of. It's always about leaving a mark behind, hopefully influencing people in a positive way, but moving on to the next idea and grasping that next great creative thought out of the sky. And it's been our mission to work with the world's most creative talents and visionaries to, to do the product justice. What's really important to Swarovski is to create product that's relevant to the zeitgeist. It's relevant to the consumer. And um, therefore, we really have to embrace what's happening in the world. And that really speaks about the technology, how technology has embraced people's lifestyles, has uh, made their lifestyles easier. But how do we combine technology with beauty? Now tell us your secret, your family celebration in a small town ringed with mountains in Austria. Imagine the weather. Well, it was Daniel Swarovski who in 1895 moved from Bohemia to this little town of Wattens Tirol. And I think what you realize when you come visit us in Austria is that there is so much craftsmanship behind the creation of these crystals. There is so much dedication, there's so much concern for quality and passion and care and this is exactly what we want to show our friends, collaborators and customers next week during the celebration. I only have two words to say to you, Nadja and the whole Swarovski family. Happy birthday! Thank you Susie and it's fantastic to be here with you in Florence.